Hello everyone, I'm Leah. And I'm Emily. And we're from LeahGriffith.com. Today we're going to be going over 17 crafts to bring the tropical into your home. And when I think about tropical, the first thing that pops into my head are the gorgeous flowers. And we have a lot of them today. Our star of the show this month is this double hibiscus, and this is made out of crepe paper. This is our monthly event for our members, so make sure and mark that in your calendar. Next up we have this pin cushion protea that Megan made. There is so much detail in this flower. I don't know how she did it, but we have the whole step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this from start to finish. And switching over to felt, here's an anthurium that is designed by Krista. It's got some incredibly delicate stitch details that I think just adds a lot of realism. To make this bouquet, I did add in some orchids, which were made a few years ago, and there'll be a link to these flowers in the details below. Speaking of orchids, look at this frosted paper orchid that Megan made. And this can also be used as a plant or in an arrangement, but it's set up so that you can slide it right into a container. Our most recent tropical flower is this beautiful plumeria. You're going to be making this live this month, aren't you? Yes, I'll be doing this on YouTube, so it's a free video. Bring your friends and let's do a craft party. And our last flower is this simple but beautiful flower head wreath. These are simple flowers. You could make this project in about a half an hour and they're perfect for playtime or for a party. Moving into felt projects, we have these adorable lemur and here is a mama and a baby. These are so cute and they have movable limbs. Mm -hmm. You can make them walk around and hug each other. I just love these. Next up, I designed this layered embroidered felt wall hanging. I love how the wings are loose. It's almost like it could just fly away. A cute little craft that you can make for your little ones, perfect for a party, are these flamingos. These are a combination of yarn, pom-poms, and felt. Yeah. And along with flowers, when you think of tropics, what pops into your head is tropical fruit. We've gathered all of our tropical fruits into this roundup. Each one has its own tutorial from start to finish on the post. And if you're traveling, we have these felt cases for your iPad or your Kindle. And of course, we had to decorate them with a bit of vinyl to bring in that tropical flair. Another great project for traveling are these leather bag tags. These are perfect for your tropical vacation or a gift. Moving over to paper, we have this 3D crepe paper monstera leaf. And this is so beautiful when you put it in a frame, it immediately becomes a piece of art. And if you are looking to create some artwork for your home with that tropical flair, here are two of our favorite layered paper cut pieces. These go great together. One is a toucan and the other is a cockatoo. And if you're celebrating Father's Day and you want a little tropical flair, I designed this Hawaiian shirt themed card and it opens up and you can write your note right there. And we're bringing back one of our member favorites. This is two drop dishes that are shaped in the monstera leaf. These are made with air dry clay and painted. And for our free craft camp project this month, we make this tropical leaf themed garland that I painted with watercolor. We have a full kit for this, or you can download the templates and cut them out of any paper. This is perfect for all the younger crafters out there. So there you have it, 17 beautiful crafts. Some of them are 15 minute crafts and some might take a few hours, but each one of them will add a little bit of that tropical flair to your home. And as usual, you can find all of these materials and supplies on our website, feltpaperscissors.com. And all of the templates and tutorials are at leahgriffith.com. See you next time.